I want to ask you, you just opened up a museum uh, near Detroit. Yes. Uh, I want to ask you about that because mm -hmm. that was a very recent thing that you just did. Yeah, I think, I think it's so important for the Polish people to know that there are great communities all over, you know, America that are very vital. Um, in fact, in uh, later in November, um, I'm going to be speaking, by the way, at uh, the Chopin Society of Atlanta. Um, which is great. Here in Atlanta, in the southeast of America, there's a big community, so I'll be speaking there, and, and I love that. Um, I've done, obviously, events in Washington. I, gosh, I've been all over the place in Cleveland, and then I also went to Detroit, and right outside of Detroit, there is this amazing community. Um, it's in Orchard Lake, Michigan, and it's maybe about 45 minutes from Detroit, and it is a huge huge um, campus and a beautiful school. There's a boys preparatory school um, where many of the students are Polish, a huge percentage are Polish, um, beautiful Polish Catholic school. And also they have a museum, as you mentioned, they have the Second Corps, Polish Second Corps Museum. And how great is that, that at this museum, I had the pleasure of cutting the ribbon at wow, the museum excellent. when it opened, and that was just recently. And you walk inside and they had all these mementos. They had all these medals and all these patches and many of the ones that my father wore when he was fighting. And it was really just so beautiful to see in the history. And then they have a whole other, you know, AK museum there for, of course, you know, uh, the home army. And it was so neat to see here in America, and it, uh, it's a very much a gem. And I hope that people listening out there, if you come to America, it is a must-see stop. I was blown away at how big of a facility it is, how much of a devotion to Polish history it is. And uh, it is a very, very special place, and it's a beautiful place, too. And I did a whole bunch of speeches there and talked about the book, and, uh, and they were so happy to hear the story. I mean, they were really, really thrilled to hear the story and to hear it from a very personal level, too, because my father has been um, deeply personal in sharing the stories, too, of his emotions of how it was, not just the, the historical facts. And I think that's what makes this, this story a little different, that it's very much filled with a lot of heart and emotion. And, um, and I really, I think my father was very courageous to talk about all those things, too, and how, um, but it was lovely to be out there. And they were just so great. And, and it was so wonderful to walk in this museum and to see all these old mementos uh, so beautifully restored. And also to see the history very much still alive. That was great. Great, great. Yeah. Rita, I want to thank you so much for oh, all of your efforts. You. And uh, on behalf of uh, Pangea Alliance, Pangea Poland, all of the Polish youth uh, that gather here from all over the world and uh, all of the organizations that were here, uh, you are you know, true honorary guest. And uh, thank you for visiting Poland. Thank you for doing thank all you. of this great job for Polish communities and being a true Polish ambassador in the American media, which Poland needs so much because without you, uh, people wouldn't know about Warsaw Uprising in America and uh, they, and I think it's only the beginning of, of our way and uh, yeah. I'm sure if, uh, if we get, the v get on the visa waiver program, 50% of the success is going to be you <laughs> doing all the lobbying I'm for stay us. On <laughs> I'm going to stay on them. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is also so... Uh, Thank you so much, Rita, and um, I, we don't have any more questions, uh, and I hope you enjoy your stay in Poland, and you have a great trip, and hope, hopefully you come back over here as often as you can. Thank you. It, it's so wonderful being here. Thank you for a great interview, and I just want to thank the people of Poland, too, because um, you have opened your hearts to me and to my father, and I love this country dearly, and I love the heart and the spirit, and, and I hope in some way I can be a, a mini ambassador uh, to spread the word and to share it, and it's my honor and my privilege because this is a story that needs to be told, and it's so great to be here, and thank you for always embracing me when I come. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, Rita and Greg, I give you invitation for Wyższa Szkoła Biznesu, National University, Nowy Sącz. Oh, fantastic. Uh, uh, next year it's a great opening, you know, in, in Dala and uh, building, you know. Fantastic. Uh, if, will you be there? Yes, of course. Well, if you'll be there, then I'll be there. <laughs> I have standards. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Rita. Ja serdecznie zapraszam. Uh, bardzo dziękuję. Uh, Grzesiu, uh, jesteś naprawdę wspaniałym młodym człowiekiem, który robi uh, wiele wspaniałych rzeczy. I dzięki właśnie Grzegorzowi jest tutaj z nami Rita. Rita jest no, po prostu tak wspaniałą osobą, która promuje nie tylko uh, nasz region, ale przede wszystkim naszych ludzi, naszych... To, 
polsko-amerykańskie organizacje i myślę, że trzeba wszystkim podziękować za to, że, że mamy tak wspaniałą e, ambasadorkę e, w Stanach Zjednoczonych. E, bardzo dziękuję i do usłyszenia.